Hi, welcome to Barnsley. So today we're looking at some, some of the railways, not all of the railways, we've not covered everything, but some of the railways um, between Stairfoot and, uh, and Cuddeth. any further it will probably need to address the situation um the name Cuddeth so spell could worth or it's pronounced Cuddeth so you might they might as well drop the W the O and the R yeah, yeah think of how much money people of Cuddeth have wasted on ink <laughs> writing those extra letters that never get pronounced Same with but um but yeah so it's Cuddeth it's not Cuddeth um and I'm just pointing that in there now because the amount of abuse I get for <laughs> Uh, mispronunciations of names. I'm even taking flack for uh, for my pronunciation of the Welsh names back in May. So uh, there we go. I've said it. You can't have a go at me this time. So Barnsley, not a million miles away from home, but this is new ground for me. But just take a look at this map and the current and disused railways around Barnsley in South Yorkshire. Plenty to explore here, isn't there? But today we're looking to follow the route of the former Midland Railway, specifically at the Chapeltown Loop from Stairfoot to where it joined the North Midland route at Cuddeth. Bit of a messy one with lots going on today, but the line opened in 1899 between Cuddeth and Monk Spring Junction, which is on the current Barnsley to Sheffield line, as the name suggests, by Chapeltown, and was an alternative route coal trains or diverted passenger trains could take up the Midland line to Leeds. So first of all, we're arriving at Stairfoot along the former Great Central line from the direction of Wath, just south of Barnsley. So we'll pick you up on the approach to Stairfoot. Which way are we going then, John? We're Left or right? right? We're turning right. Turning right. Uh, I've got John Hello. with me. It's not been. Last time I saw John, it was uh, in August. We walked from New Mills to Wayfield. Lovely day. I, I've, despite only growing up 10 miles away in Doncaster, I have very little exposure to Barnsley. I mean, I've never never had reason to come to Barnsley, and it's not like it's really on the way anywhere on the train if you live in Doncaster. We're just making our way up to towards Stair. Oh, Christ, that's a good start. Falling into that, that hole in the middle. Uh, we're just making our way up to Stairfoot. Um, it's coming past a couple of old bridges. I've never been round here, so it's just good. Just having a look at a couple of the things that we find. And this was an old, old Great Central line, this one. You're so badass, John, in your, <laughs> in your pink owl cow molly art. I'll try not to fall over now. So I'm not sure if this was an electrified uh, section of line. I know that the section we've just been walking on was. Um, but, yeah, there's definitely a sign there. I can't read it. I don't know if, I don't know if it says something to do with ho overhead lines. So, a bit dark in here, if you can make that out. Stairfoot Station, Heritage Park. Nice old photograph of the station there. So, I've got a couple of uh, steam engine wheels here and another, another information board there. Excellent. So, this isn't the line we're going to be walking on. We're walking down the old North Midland line, but yeah, we're just passing through. It's nice just to have a look. These old steam engine wheels that get you away from the sun. Time of year we've got a low sun in the sky. Are these for, for clearances? I don't actually know what, what this is. I'm assuming there used to be an information board on these old sleepers at some some point. But yeah, nice little nod to the railways they've done on this, this site. So I'm not sure if this was the exact station site. Just got rail map online up. Useful thing just to have up when you're out doing these explores. And uh, it looks like this, the old Stairfoot station site was just, a, just, just further up towards the roundabout. 
round about where we stood here the old New Oaks Colliery and Oaks Chemical Plant. And we had the Hull and Barnes Railway on the right hand side, just over there, just joining us. Uh, we're coming up to what the locals in Barnsley might know as Stairfoot Roundabout. You hear it all the time on the traffic and travel on Radio Sheffield, you know. Um, that's, that's where I know the word Stairfoot from. Uh, where we had the, uh, the Midland Railway crossed over the top of where the roundabout is now and across the top I believe of these um, two lines the Great Central and Hull and Barnsley Railway McDonald's now looking back sorry about the sun so the old Stairfoot station would have been I'm guessing if the maps are correct somewhere around here and we've still got this bridge oh there's some information boards here walking past them John yeah, just, just, yeah. So that bridge across the top, that's the, the Midland Railway, is it? Chapel Tyne mm -hmm. Loop Line. Alright, again, lost bearings here. Right, yeah, so we're there. Number one is Stairfoot Station. So here's an overhead view of Stairfoot um, as it is today, with rail map online overlaid. So there's really not much left of the railways in this location. The only line that's left in a disused state is that blue line that we've seen the bridges going over the Stairfoot roundabout. That yellow line dissecting the blue line there almost at a 90 degree angle. That's our Midland line. That's the one that we're going to be picking up. And then we've also got the Hull and Barnsley Railway that's orange on this map. And if we just go back to our information board at Stairfoot Station, we can see the Midland line, that Chapel Town loop, dissecting from left to right over that viaduct. Uh, we've got the Great Central going from top to bottom, or bottom to top, uh, and just in the bottom left, we've got the Hull and Barnsley there. Some nice shots of the old Stairfoot Station there. So you can see, I presume that's the bridge for the middle and just going over the end of it there that's looking back to the stairfoot station um so we're about well i think it's just in front of us here we had that bridge coming over the top of the with the, the middle and railway it's actually a bridge of your great central but as we can see panning around nothing left of that one on the midlands so immediately after leaving Stairfoot, we can't walk on the Midland. So we're going to be walking down the Hull and Barnsley Railway for a short while. There's a little posts along the route. Mile posts, gradient posts. I'm not sure that would have been. So since Stairfoot, we've been walking along this um, trail. It's a Trans Pennine Trail, isn't it? This yeah, yeah it's Trans Pennine Trail. Um, Nice tarmac path. This this is the old Hull and Barnsley railway track bed, I understand. Now let me just pause this as what I've just said isn't correct. I didn't realise what we were walking on at the time. In 1964, the line south from here through the tunnel we're about to see and over that high viaduct at Stairfoot was closed. A diversion was curved away from the tunnel as shown in the white here and joined up with the Hull and Barnsley line at Stairfoot Junction. Well, just look to the, the right hand side here. So we've got for a short time, this is the first time we're going to see this Midland Railway today actually. But look, this is where the Midland Railway has been hiding for a, for a while since, uh, since Stairfoot. And this is Ardsley Tunnel. So look at the cutting it's in there. Some work being done, aren't they, to get this, get this line and this portal down in this valley. Let's go for a closer look, shall we? Yeah, yeah. It's weird because they've just built it like, it's like a shortcut they built. Yeah. Two lines. Bizarre. I wasn't expecting just for it to appear on, on the right hand side of the, of the path like that. It's a big one. The buttresses, the towers at the side. I think Biffo's been up there, by the lots of things. We're not getting in there, are we? That's quite secure. Breeze blocked up to a good 10 foot there. Bit of a gap up there if anyone's got a ladder and willing, willing to give it a try. Excellent. What's like the coping stones and the, the capping stones and whatnot from the tunnel. 
are uh, down here, falling off the top. Here we are. Is it recording? <laughs> yeah, it's recording. <laughs> here we are, looking in the tunnel. Yep, it's a tunnel of echo. Don't forget uh, to tell them that it's dark. It's very dark indeed. Uh, and I'm probably about <laughs> three foot off the ground here. <laughs> so I'm handing back over. <laughs> there you go. Cheers, John. Save me climbing up there. So now we can walk down the route of the old Midland line. Now the line we see from here towards Cudworth continued well into the 1980s thanks to that short diversion. Still in this cutting and we have confirmed on the maps now we are walking um, roughly on the alignment of the Midland line, it is going up and down, it's a bit undulating, there's been a bit of infilling done, but we have just for the last 200 yards been following the, the course of that old Midland railway. Uh, and just down there, yeah, you can see there's there's a track bed down at the bottom there, and that's that Great Central, that, that's um, down as a Great Central railway on the maps. That's gonna dive underneath, um, that's gonna dive underneath this Midland line before we get to the viaduct. We can see the viaduct there at the top right hand side of this map. Now we can see the uh, the Great Central line diving under there. That's listed here as the Houghton Main Colliery branch. So I'm assuming that down there, it's infilled, but the cutting down there is the top of the infill for that Great Central branch. So we're going to be walking over that uh, very shortly, but we've just come off just to have a look. Um, a view of the viaduct there, as the viaduct. Bigger than I thought, John. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is impressive structure. I mean, when you think of viaduct, you think of a, a quaint ribbled viaduct, don't you? Stone arches, yeah, yeah. things like that. But yeah, yeah. Brick pillars, lattice, ironwork on top. Just having a wander underneath. Here we are on, just about to go on top, top of that viaduct now, as the viaduct. Not as high as Connorsbury last week. So. What's that, John? Telegraph pole. Telegraph pole. Alright, yeah. Let's put the camera through the railings. Wow, that's huge. That's thick, isn't it, that? It's high as well. So the view, view from the top of the viaduct, you can see Barnsley in the distance there, just make out the town hall, across the valley, and across to the other side, where we've just been standing down there, we did have some teenage girls chucking railway ballast off when we were stood down there, so we've come up the top now. I'm assuming these railings are, are a later addition just for safety, I'm guessing. Cut off style. So, coming off the viaduct now. Past the viaduct ends. This beautiful old three arch bridge. Possibly the example of railway over engineering. It is, isn't it? It's so ornate as well. It's the same design. Oh, well, it's expected and it will be, wouldn't it? If it's built by the same people, it's the same, same design. <laughs> Condition, isn't it? Yeah. So under that old bridge and straight into a straight into a cutting. So that was a nice little 
uh, uh, nice little section since uh, since the viaduct there. Yeah, lovely. Not all really, nothing really worth filming or pointing out, but yeah, it was a nice little, nice pleasant walk. So, yeah. assuming this would have been a, a bridge, you can see the, the track beds dipping down and going back up the other side. So, I'm assuming we're on the outskirts of, um, of Cuddeth now. So, there's a we've just been walking across a line that's going it's going off in that direction and it's meeting this line it's time to dig out those maps isn't it so we're approaching now to the chapel town line junction shown here so we've just been walking on this line which is the chapel town loop and we're heading over to the north midland line which is this line we're just on that lane there so if I just pan out again onto that wider map of Barnsley Railways, the North Midland line is this yellow line there. It was opened in 1840, was closed in 1988 due to subsidence. And you'll see in a few minutes the width of this embankment, just how many tracks there were on this line. It was a major arterial route. So it's not being shut very long, this one. Um, late 80s, I think there was still, still traffic on this. Uh, on this line so we've got an arch an archway has it been extended at some stage well, i wondered if that was the case yeah yeah and it's definitely had uh, like a girder section on on either side hasn't it like you say there's plenty on the sides are we going up on onto that track yeah, there at some stage there. so we're on our getting up on top of there but there's things at the side look at this we can see the old tensioner there. Various bits of brick, brickwork, posts, whatnot, down here. On the side of the bridge, getting a good view up here. It's that texture again, isn't it? That all along the floor, the evidence. It used to be coal trains up and down here. That would have been the staple freight of this area and this line. So there's the track bed, we're on top. This little sign there. It's great when you get to walk on a section of line that's not been closed long, like the, like the ones down Cat Cliff that we did, where there's still lots of kind of modern infrastructure left behind. I don't know what that post's for. Well, there's one either side of the bridge. I thought, is it something to do with signalling or something like that? Just going to have a walk up the trap bed, um, up in the direction of um, of Wath. Um, just a short short distance. Going to backtrack on ourselves before we go and do uh, before we go and do Cuddy. It's a very wide embankment one. It, it is an embankment. It's uh, a bit down there. It goes, I mean, this is more than than two tracks. I'm going to have to dig out the maps when I get home just to uh, just to cross reference. But I'm guessing there could have been well, there's certainly more space than is needed for double track up here. There's a lot of cobwebs, John. <laughs> Not a fan of the cobwebs. Got a lonely concrete sleeper through the trees there. Excuse me, I'm filming with a full mouth, just having a spot of lunch. So, this is, just reading the sign down there. Cars Lane, Cuddeth Barnsley. So still got the railway signage, signage on there. Again, look how wide. more than double track isn't it assuming that's for some posts in the middle I'm guessing I was looking back that way towards uh, towards Wath out towards towards Swinton way sorry it's just occurred to me it's not actually a sign from 1980, it's the act uh, you're right. that's yeah, from yeah, 1980. Yeah, right. Sorry, I saw 1980 and just zoned everything else out on there, but yeah, because it's network rail, that's not, not even that's, that's, yeah, recent, this century, that isn't it. 
Does anybody know what these are? We thought something to do with signalling, perhaps, I, I don't know, but there's far too many down here, I would guess, uh, for it to be related to signals. They're, they're far too freaking, we, we, we're passing them far too frequently for just for regular signals. But they've got that, oh, sorry, getting stung. They've got these metal attachments sticking out the top. So that's one end of the bridge. And we've got one just at the other end there, just the other side of the railings. And they could have been signs, possibly, I don't know, but there's, there's a some kind of bracket on there that adds something on there. So we're heading back up towards um, up towards Cuddeth now, back uh, back the way towards Cuddeth Station. More ballast and more of those posts. Another one there. I've noticed them. We've been walking past them. Um, yeah, look. No idea. So back in that direction is where we've just walked from. Well, we've not walked from Wath, but we've just come in that direction. We're just coming up to. Let me just step over this branch. There we go. Um, coming up to a junction, this on the map is um, referred to as the Chapel Town Line Junction. I mean, Chapel Town, it's not close by. It's, well, some of the outskirts of Sheffield, isn't it? But this is the path we was walking up from, from the stairfoot direction. So if you go down there, that's where the viaduct and the, and the tunnel was. And these two lines are joining here. So, in fact, I've walked straight past, straight past this lot. Concrete sleeper there with the, the bolt sticking out the top. It wouldn't be an explorer without a big pile of sleepers, would it? They should have employed the cl clown greenway tidiness sleeper piling up. Yeah, they're not as tidy as clown, are they? Another one of those brick foundations there. We've got a post I once housed something so I'm guessing this was like the central area because I, I can't I mean this this area is really really wide as we've been walking along it's been getting wider because all the way over there all the way I mean I, I don't guess how many lines wide this is but I think it's seven seven but as John's just been uh, just explaining the ballasts only on this on the, the far right hand side of the embankment I mean, all the way over there you can't even see the other end for the, for the amount of trees um, this would have been the most recently used because it's still got the ballast the ballast down on this section another bridge what's this a bridge over it's the river And you can get a feel just how wide this area is that we're walking on, just to the, the width of this bridge, all the way over there, look. Ducked in here. No. Wooden post. Look at that. That's the base of the water tower. There I am, taking, uh, taking videos of this, this water tower uh, through the trees. And uh, yeah, you walk another five yards and look at this, you can get right inside it. Check there's no one in. Oh, let me. The best thing about this is it's like, it reminds you of a Hornby water tower. Mm -hmm. cool. It's going to be grim inside here, isn't it? Yeah, just checking that there's nobody enjoying themselves. <clears throat> Alright, so that's inside, so the bottom part. So. It's a genuine question. I mean, obviously water towers, they've got the, the top, the big tank on top where the, the water sits, yeah, it's yeah. Gra gravity fed. What's underneath? What, what, what are these areas for? Are they just used as a store? Are they used as other things? Or is, do they have a purpose related to the water tower? Well, definitely this is the place for some Yeah. Isn't it like a plinth or something? Plenty of masonry, isn't there? Plenty of cans. It's not as bad as I thought it'd be in here, actually. Not far.
Yeah, it's really, really weathered. Weathered stonework on there. Is this, I was having these, oh, Christ, it's just crumbling away in my hand. Is this sandstone? I reckon it is, it is. Is it a sandstone area, this? Where are they getting the sandstone from? I mean, is this not a limestone area? So yeah, what a fantastic thing just left on the side. It's a shame that the, the, the tank on the top's not there. Yeah. So leaving the water tower or the base, the remains of that water tower behind them. We're just about to wander into the, the, uh, the site of um, Pudder Station. So you only have to look on old maps. This station was was quite large. There were lots of lots of platforms. Um, so we had the Midland Railway ran through, and we also had platforms for the Hull and Barnsley Railway. And we start to see bits of concrete on the floor. So that's a support for something, isn't it? That's some blue brick some ventilated brick well, there i can just reach in and show you that's the base of a signal just there more ducting so i mean it is a big footprint of a site sleeper down there on the floor yeah there's a ridge there's something here look the stonework let's clear some away is that a wall i thought it was a platform edge but it's just thin top of wall or something that isn't it a bit low down for a wall though but we've got lots of bricks chucked to the side here Cuddeth station opened in 1840 under the name of Barnsley despite being some distance from what we would now refer to as the centre of Barnsley it changed its name to Cudworth for Barnsley in 1854 before dropping Barnsley altogether in 1870 it closed in 1968 when passenger services ceased on the line. As we can see from this map, it's quite a large station. As well as having the Midland Railway, it also served the Hull and Barnsley Railway. So the Hull and Barnsley uh, part of the station was on this side. And it's hard to make out from maps. I mean, it would have changed at different different eras. Um, but I think this have been kind of more for goods over this side. It's a big area, lots to look around. So on the right hand side um, of of the station, what are these? Are these lots of ventilation or or something? I thought they were pipes or something. Yeah, they're for ventilation from inside. Look, you wonder is it a is it a, a, a Earlier, an air raid shelter, um, a goods store. So I'm just going to have a, a look inside. I'm just going to make sure it's it's safe. Ooh. Don't know how far I really want to go in. Yeah, you can see those air vents there. I'm really not sure what this is. It's big, big, thick black. It doesn't smell very fresh. Big, thick black soot on the walls. I am insured. Yeah, he's got this big, thick, big, thick door. The door, then. It's not the greatest. There's not a lot more to see in there. Hello? I was just checking that there was no homeless people sleeping inside there. And it was quite a steep drop down into there, and it was difficult to see, so I didn't go any further. So I've gone part of the way in. I don't really want to crawl any further into there. I don't know what it's like. Looks like there was another chamber at the back. Still don't know what that is. It's got a big heavy door on like it's an uh, airtight seal or something. Could have been a, a coal. It could have been an air aid shelter. Unfortunately, not a fantastic um, amount of station left behind really at all. There's nothing, is there? There's more red brick here. Yeah. Bits of bricks in the floor. You had bits of concrete, plenty of ballast. But no platforms yet, certainly no trace of any any buildings. So we've carried on past the old Cudworth station. Um, it's as far as we're going to get on the trap bed um, for this way. So this is an old an old bridge. 
fence post there. Um, so yeah, this is the road. Can't remember the name of the road. I have to look it up. Um, the bridge is missing, so you'll see we've got yeah, we've got a big railing here crossing, but we've got some nice abutments just on the road, just at the other side. So here's those abutments we've just been stood above. Rail track. Blast from the past, isn't it? That is really, really wide, isn't it? Yeah, main section, then two, well, two tracks there you can see, flanking both sides. So I don't know when the top was taken off this bridge. Assuming it was a steel, steel gear at the top. So the kind folks driving the Google Street View car can answer both those questions for us. Here's the bridge when the car came through in 2014. But when it came back a year later, the bridge had gone to what we see um, today, just of the abutments. So wouldn't be an explore without a little drop of rain. So we've just had a little bit of, bit of a shower, haven't we, at the end there? Just a little bit of drizzle. Just a little yeah, not complaining about that compared to some of the conditions I've uh, been filming in the last few months. So, cheers, John. I always love coming out with you. It's always well, we've had a we've had a great day today. Awesome day, yeah. I'll probably learn more, and this is no offence. I'll probably <laughs> learn more when I get home and I read up on yeah, some yeah, of the yeah, things yeah. we've seen. But that's always the case. You always learn more from when people contact you or people leave comments or get in contact with you through, through Facebook. So. You know, it's all a learning. I never, I always say I'm not an expert. You know, I'm not from round here. So it's always, it's always great though to learn a little bit about, about the history of different places where, where you've not been. So as always, appreciate the support. If you're one of my new subscribers, welcome. Don't forget to check out the, the back catalog of videos. So from a drizzly, it's getting a bit heavier now. A drizzly cover. Yeah. So from Cudworth, Barnsley, or Cudworth, I'll give you that one. Um, take care, and I'll see you soon. Or we'll see you soon. See you later. Take care.